Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out another LEGO Dimensions video. This one is All Your Bricks Are Belong To Us Free Play. And we are gonna grab all 10 mini kits and the minifig in peril. We're gonna grab that rule breaker requirement of 185K, and it should be noted that a handful of wave one and wave two character packs are required in order to get all 10 of these mini kits. So uh, make sure you check the video description down below and look at our quick links to see what abilities are needed because we've actually included all of them per mini kit so that you guys know exactly what is needed before you even start the video. So, oh to the yeah, when you're you're all ready, you got your DeLorean saved to the toy tag and all other characters ready to go into battle. Let's go ahead and hop into our toy pad here. Make sure that you're selecting level 10, all your bricks are belong to us. It was continue story for us because we we're doing a second playthrough so we can get all these mini kits. And anyhow, it should be also noted that the cutscenes that are not relevant to the story have been removed and this video is slightly sped up. And in a few areas, it's even more sped up than others just because there's nothing going on and uh, we didn't want to waste your time. So, all right, to start things off, we are in the ground level of the Defender game. And uh, basically there are five little guys that we need to save. And we're gonna save the first astronaut here that starts right off where we spawn. And then we're gonna make our way over to the right-hand side, which is going to uh, take us to the first mini kit. So, woohoo! Look at that, I tried to run up the old pad to jump up and off of it, but it won't even let me do that. So I hopped in my DeLorean and I missed the pad. <laughs> Anyways, I get it eventually. And uh, you know, I still haven't purchased the 2X multiplier for this playthrough. And I was a little concerned about the lack of studs. Uh, so I make sure I get a lot of them. But as you make your way towards the right hand side, you're actually gonna come across this little cinematic scene where this 8-bit astronaut gets trapped in a bunch of flames and he's right next to a keystone terminal that happens to be the elemental. So we're gonna go ahead and save him by activating that and uh, moving our character to the water side and getting him all nice and wet to put out that fire. Now, uh, all right, moving along to the right, not much further, we're gonna find this nice little silver brick. And, uh, oh, before we go any further, too, it should be noted that if you save all five of those astronauts uh, before getting these mini kits, you will have to start this level over again because once you save all five, it actually takes you out of here. So that being said, destroy the silver block just kind of sitting out in front. Go ahead and build the bricks that it reveals up into a grapple handle. Spin that grapple handle around by filling the meter and use a, a, well, a wizard of your choice to go ahead and light the dark cave and get inside and grab that first mini kit. So, woohoo! See you later, Wicked Witch. Only positive people around here, you know what I'm saying? All right, so just just to the right of where we just were, I could say just one more time, it might make things better. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to actually use the dock to go ahead and access and hack this panel. Now, I thought about removing this because, for well, for one, I, it's not my best hack ever. But two, you know, it's kind of a waste of time. You guys know what you need to do here. But I left this one in. Now, there's one later that's not relevant to a mini kit that I actually removed. So you'll have to forgive me for that one if you struggle with that. But I, I think I get eaten here by one of these bouncing dudes here in a second. Can't remember. But anyhow, uh, yeah, essentially there are four little nodes that need to be filled up here. And uh, you just make your way around. Now if you find some little transparent blocks that have like a little uh, dotted line around them, that means like the green ones to your left or the red ones up in the top left or over the red and green over on the right now. Uh, that just means you need to move your character who is doing the hack to that color space on your toy pad. That's right, spice, spice pad, spice pad. All right, now we've got the third and fourth and blemo. We're gonna actually return back and luckily for us, it's gonna puke out a mini kit. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that and continue moving to the right hand side. And look at that, we find a couple of little satellites on the ground, but if you smash them, we find an 88 miles an hour treadmill back there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out our DeLorean and we're gonna hop on in and make our way. Looks like we're gonna go ahead. We're in 1981 now. We're gonna go ahead to 2015. So current day time. And uh, we find ourselves in this little ship here. To be honest with you, uh, well, first make sure you run back and grab the mini kit. When I did my trial run trying to find all the mini kits, it actually loaded into this and nothing loaded. It was all black and I could move around but I couldn't quite do anything. It was really weird. So if that happens to you, just reload. Just I just reloaded with the treadmill 
And um, all right, so moving along, you can see we use the dock to go ahead and access one of those hack panels there. It's more of a techno terminal, if I'm being honest. And it actually takes us into a live version of Defender. This was one of my favorite games as a kid growing up. I know some of you young kids may think this was your favorite game. Well, there wasn't a lot of games to be offered, especially that were playable in the home when I was a young lad. So Defender was one of the top ones. Um, I played a lot of Haunted House, Pac-Man, a uh, handful of games on the old Atari and ColecoVision, thanks to my, mine and my neighbor's consoles. So, All right, there are 30 total bad guys that you need to take out. Pretty simple. In fact, there's more than 30. Once you get all 30 taken out, though, or once you get 30 taken out, I said that kind of weird, you will be rewarded with a mini kit. So moving along further to the right. Gosh, the theme of this level seems to be move along to the right. Move along, people. Nothing to see here. We're going to use Batman and his security suit to stealth by the security cameras. And we're going to make sure we hit that button, too. If you didn't notice, there's a little switch there that you can hit that will remove the force field and allow everybody in. But make sure you grab that mini kit. And, uh, oh, look at on the wall there. There is some blue flashing bricks. So we're going to pull out our sonar and get our on. And look at that. It not only destroys the bricks, but it also opens the door. Now we're inside, and there's a whole bunch of stuff to smash and a handful of studs to grab. And uh, over on the right-hand side of the room, there's actually this weird little box with some flashy bits. We smash it, and it turns out to be a keystone terminal. Now this one gives us a couple of the keystones, um, starting off with the old shift keystone. And you can either use this to go ahead and use the portals to move around, or you can grab a flying character and bypass that completely. So we are up top, and you can see here for us it worked out well because we do need a Batarang. And uh, being that old Wonder Woman has one of those, it worked out rather nicely. But uh, go ahead and use the checkerboard path here and slide that power core all the way down. Activate uh, the elevator by using the Batarang, which drops that down below. Now, we are going to remove, you probably remember, the Doctor was already part of our team. We removed him and put him back on so he'd spawn up top here with us. And now we're going to hack both of these terminals. The first one's just a techno pad. Next one's a hacking. This one's real easy. You just got to move the arrow over the button and press the icon indicated and uh, then drop down below. And this one's a little bit more complicated. This is a full on hack and it actually requires eight nodes to be dealt with. So like I said, I removed that because, hey, we don't want to waste your time. You know how to get the nodes. And uh, plus, it was a horrible attempt. I failed miserably. I got killed by those little bouncers like seven or eight times. So all right, once you get both of those done, or maybe you don't care, maybe you've got the 2x multiplier and you've already got the requirement for the rule breaker here. But uh, we're going to go ahead and keep on keeping on by pressing this power core all the way down. Now, you've got a choice here. You can actually pull out a character with the electricity ability, or you can actually activate the elemental keystone and then move your character around to the spot on the pad where it's the light blue indicating the electric electricity so we're gonna fill that meter up once we do holy cow this is a long process for one mini kit right i mean seriously um uh, we're actually gonna find ourselves with the full-on defender ship ready to be destroyed with some more that's right get your sonar out and we'll go ahead and break the bricks once we do that, it reveals the mini kit, and we can go ahead and jump inside and grab it, giving us the sixth mini kit. And actually, that actually completes all the mini kits for this area. So you can hop back in your DeLorean and get on that treadmill, lose a few weight, lose a few weight, lose a few pounds. <laughs> but wait, there's not more. We're going to go back and we're going to find our way moving along in the story, too. We're going to save the rest of those astronauts and uh, we're going to find ourselves playing Gauntlet. So. Uh, hey, if you guys are in a hurry or just simply looking for those mini kits, feel free to use the quick links down below as we noted just a second ago on your screen there. Uh, if you have not played this level yet, maybe you just got this for Christmas or maybe you just got the game, period. Maybe we're long past Christmas. Um, you know, feel free to watch it and uh, we're going to show you how to save the last couple of 8-bit astronauts. You can see we're destroying everything too in hopes of trying to grab a few extra studs. And I... Car ramrodded that rock and ended up getting stuck and tried to back up and get it, and I totally missed. But rather than make a fool of myself any longer, I just moved along. All right, we find this little satellite smashing one of these astronauts. We also see a keystone terminal right past it. Activate the locate and then kind of backtrack so that it actually finds the vortex that we can rip open by spamming the button and filling that meter. And once we do, the DeLorean actually comes in and... Da -da! and smashes the satellite trapping 
the astronaut frees him, and uh, it rolls out. So we got one left before moving on to Gauntlet, and this one's pretty simple. Go ahead and activate that same keystone terminal, and uh, you're going to want to smash the middle of this little thing here, and then you're going to want to fill the meter with the Earth element, which brings up this giant, like, robotic finger, and it flicks it away and saves him, and woohoo! Once you get all five, though, it takes us away, and here we go. All right. So uh, there are no other levels. It just starts you out on level 17. And to do what we're doing next, you will need a flying character. I don't think there's any other way you can get into this secret area over here. But we're going to show you a secret little room. It's actually pretty simple. And you probably saw it and were like, ooh, I wonder what that is. And you probably thought Unikitty was needed because there's that rainbow jump pad there. And to be honest with you, I thought Unikitty was needed. But I got my flying character and I flew up and over the walls, which is amazing because you can bypass like the entire higher level but don't do that come down in the bottom left hand corner destroy everything that you see and look at that there's like a way out of here so we're gonna go ahead and take this lefty or louie which hey finally somebody commented up on what a right is somebody stumped me one day and said well if taking a left is a louie then what is a right well a right is a richie i like it anyway i don't know if that's right or not but i like it all right, two important things. First, you have 20 seconds to grab all the studs before they disappear. And second, there is a mini kit right as you walk in the room, right in the middle. Now, you might notice, too, at the top, there's a bunch of ghosts. There's also a containment unit, but you don't need Peter Venkman. If you play your cards right and you hit the wall on the left side of the ghosts and kind of slightly make your way to the right, you can actually bypass those ghosts. I am positive that this is a glitch. I do not think the developers intended for that to work, but because of the way the ghosts kind of move around, they're not a continuous threat or a continuous blocking path. Uh, so we were able to weasel by. So, uh, hey, th at some point they may patch that. And if you find yourself not able to get by there, uh, it's really simple. You just go to the left of where the ghosts are up to the wall and fly along the wall to the right. And it just goes right up by him. So it's craziest thing. But, you know, it might get fixed at some point And you might need Peter Venkman in Wave 3. To be honest with you, right now, at the time of this recording, Wave 3 is not even out yet for another couple weeks. So, you know, you might have to wait for that. But hopefully they haven't patched it yet. And hopefully you will be able to grab that mini kit. Uh, all right. And moving along here, uh, my notes were actually off. So you see me kind of make my way around here. I will note that if you are short on studs, or maybe you didn't have a dock to you know, hack the terminal or something, there, all those little treasure chests floating around in the bottom are studded. So go ahead and make your way around and get all that studs floating around if you need them. If not, go ahead and find your way to the exit and make your way to the second area of gauntlet now you're going to want to fly to kind of middle of the second area and in the middle left corner of the middle or I, I don't know how really to explain that but you saw there was that little silver panel we're going to actually pull out the wicked witch you can pull out a couple of people who could take out the silver blocks and we're going to destroy those and build the pieces it leaves behind into a secret portal out of here so see ya we're going to go to level 18 and uh now there's two ways to do this you can take the long route or you can use your flying character and fly up over the wall. So lots of keys, lots of bad guys, and a long path to get where we need to go. Or you can just simply fly up and over all the way to the top left corner of this newly discovered area. And up there in that far left patch, you can see Booyaka Shao, mini kit number nine. Now, uh, I was kind of starting to have a little bit of a panic moment here because I like to make sure that I get the rule breaker while doing this so that we get all the gold bricks and it looks nice and clean and complete, right? That's the main thing. We want you guys to be able to, you know, gauge your expectations of what you can find in this level based off our gameplay. So um, I was starting to worry that maybe we're not going to be able to yield enough studs without taking out a lot of those boxes and treasure and all. But as it turns out, I make it all the way around and bypass a ton of them, and we do get them. So don't worry. There's plenty of studage left ahead. And uh, once we return in that exit, we're going to just fly up and over to the real exit of this area, which can be found kind of in the middle left side so it does take us to a cutscene which we have removed and it takes us to the races so uh we're familiar with these we're gonna go ahead and hop in our car that we're gonna use our fast one the delorean and make our way around now this is really simple guys all you have to do is beat the racers 
and um, you can mess up a lot. You can hit the oil slicks in the water. You can go backwards if you want. I mean, I've made a ton of mistakes in this and still not even come close to losing any race. I don't think I've ever lost one. I'd have to go back and look, but I don't think I've lost any races on this. So, woo to the who should be easy for you, too. <laughs> All right, uh, lap two, almost complete with three, and here we go, Buikashow. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, or as my buddy Corey likes to always say, winner. That's right. All right, so here's race two. Before getting started, though, go ahead and pull out your silver brick breaker of choice and destroy this little, uh, I don't know, it's like a chain link over the switch. Flip the switch and we can see, oh wait, mini kit, two minutes. Took me a minute to figure it out. Basically, you have to complete this race in under two minutes. Now, that may seem stressful or very difficult, but as I was just saying, these races are tremendously easy. And and I mean, you know, hey, I, I'm older. I've got lots of racing experience, and maybe I'm speaking out of term here because some of you younger folks, you know, two- and three-year-olds may have some trouble with this race. But all in all, you should be able to... Uh, Ask a uh, oh, big brother, big sister, uncle, aunt, father, mother, somebody to help you, and they should be able to get it. It's pretty simple. However, it, it should be noted that if you complete this race in over two minutes, you will have to return and redo the entire level to this point. So, it, it, hey, if you look like you're not going to complete the race, you might go ahead and hit the old quit button. And I haven't tested this, but you should spawn at this race, and you should be able to pull up and destroy that silver block and pull the switch again and get another run at it. So you might try that, and if you do run into that, let me know in the comments down below if that, in fact, worked for you because, uh, like I said, I have not tested that. Now, you probably noticed that was the 10th mini kit, and although that is the final mini kit, it is not the final collectible. We still have a minifig in peril that needs to be rescued. So we actually complete this race and we move on to Robotron. And once we get to Robotron, that is where we will find the minifig in peril. So, hey, if you're in a hurry and you don't want to watch me ride the wall to victory here, um, feel free to use the quick links down below. In all honesty, I totally make a huge mistake here in a minute. And I get lost. And then I'm like, wait a minute, which way did he go? Which way did he go? Oh, you know what? Actually, I take that back. There is one more race after this one. And it's the next one that I totally mess up. So, yeah, this is a good. One. This would be a good time to use the old quick link button, uh, mainly because that would save me the embarrassment of this race. Now, if you want to get a good chuckle and laugh at me uh, almost losing my first race after all that talk a minute ago, uh, feel free to stick around and watch this loss almost go down. This will be the day forever remembered as the day they almost beat HTG Brian. I don't know. Can you guys name where I stole that from? I totally stole that from somewhere. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you know. All right, so here we are. Lab two, halfway through. Things are going strong, right? All right, here's where it goes weird. All right, wait, wait. Which way am I going? Wait, am I going the right way? Did I take the right turn? Oh, wait. Oh, which way am I going? Watch this. I get all the way back. And I see the other, and I'm like, oh no, it's the thief. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> so I turn around, and uh, now the panic's kind of setting in. I'm like, oh, come on, 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 come on. And no worries. I make it all the way through, and only one lap to go. Uh oh, backwards driving, man. Nope, it's all good. We're going to make it fine. We even pick up a couple extra bluesies. I don't know if you noticed, we did get the rule breaker requirement too. So lots of perp, or excuse me, lots of bluesies around these tracks. So it's totally worth doing the races. Although, bam, look at that. I came back for my winner. Oh, that's right. Big old flash takes us to Robotron down in the bottom left-hand corner. Look at that. The Robotron hero rescued. Minifig in peril saved. And now all collectibles for this level are officially obtained. All we have to do is complete the level to get the final gold brick, which we're going to do here in a second. And, um, all right. Come on. Pew, 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 pew. I think there's four waves of Robotron before we finally get access to the thief. And I probably should have sped this up a little bit more than I did, but 
Oh, well, we'll go ahead and uh, get a couple of multipliers going here. Now, this is another place you can actually take advantage of the multipliers and, and get your studage up. So, who knows, maybe you're saving for another red brick, or maybe you haven't bought the 2x red brick either, and you don't have a million studs yet. I don't know what the case may be, but uh, certainly a great opportunity to get your multiplier up. And one way I do it is I like to target things that I'm not attacking, and then you can see me, I'm, I'm targeting the higher ones that are way out of my reach. And then and then I go and I cha 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 the guys that are close to me. And uh, it seems to kind of help. I kind of, it's almost like killing two birds with one stone, so they say. All right, here we go. The thief is available now and you're welcome to farm the rest of the studs, which I kind of do for a minute here. Uh, just to kind of prove that you can get a 10x multiplier going here, which certainly helps any last minute studs you may need. But uh, the goal here is to actually take out the thief. You need to attack him three times successfully. There's one, there's two, and one last boot for you. Actually, I give him the old batarang, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I missed him. Yep, you ain't getting away, buddy. Bam. All right, grab that coin, and all your bricks are belong to us. Free play. Level complete all 10 mini kits and the minifig in peril, as well as the rule breaker status. So... Um, doing big things over here, and uh, hopefully you guys are too. I know a lot of you guys got a lot of new things to open from the holidays, and uh, hopefully you got all the characters needed in order to complete these. And we are going to go ahead and continue to beat these levels as character packs release and we are able to complete them. So there are a few levels that were really close, like we can get nine of the ten mini kits, but we need like Peter Vankman, you know, and this kind of might fall into one of those levels for some of you. Hopefully uh, this isn't just like a PS4 glitch. Maybe uh, maybe it is. Who knows? Maybe the Xbox One, you can't get that mini kit where the ghosts are and you need to use the containment unit. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Let us know down below in the comments. Uh, regardless, this screen means only one thing. That's going to wrap it up for LEGO Dimensions level 10 all your bricks are belong to us and uh yes we grabbed all 10 mini kits if you guys have any questions comments or concerns head on over to facebook twitter or simply drop them down below uh feel free to give us the old thumbs up or thumbs down if you do dislike this video do us a favor tell us why so that we can uh prevent it from happening again you know what i mean so um, oh to the yeah head on over to happythumbsgaming.com as you will find trophy achievement guides and product and gaming reviews there so you might find some interesting stuff to uh, kill some time maybe while you're waiting for your bus or who knows anyways as for me that's gonna do it i'm moving on i got more videos to do for you guys so as always until next time Mm, all your sias are belong to us. See ya.